Cats can become infected with hookworm larvae as they sniff the ground. The larvae reach the cavity of the mouth and are then swallowed. Hookworm larvae are also able to actively bore through the skin. This is called percutaneous infection. Larvae that are introduced to the animal percutaneously are carried through the bloodstream to various organs. As they traverse the body, they make their way into the lungs via the heart and from there travel into the windpipe. Once in the windpipe, they are coughed up and swallowed again, ultimately to settle in the intestine. Irrespective of whether the larvae have been introduced orally or percutaneously, they will not mature into adult worms until they have reached the intestine. The full-grown worms mainly fasten themselves to the mucous membrane of the jejunum. While doing so, they often change their point of attachment, which then usually bleeds. With their sharp teeth, they literally bite out chunks of the mucous membrane so that they can suck out some 0.1 millimeters of blood per worm per day. Consequently, a hookworm infestation can result in a severe case of anemia. The sexually mature worms produce thin-shelled eggs that are excreted with the cat feces. Once they have been released into the open, the hookworm larvae eggs will grow inside the egg. They hatch and can then be found crawling around near the droppings. <laughs>